made it to St. Thomas, so we'll be spending the next five days here. We just got to our condo. We haven't even seen the view yet. John is parking right now because he is sleeping in the car, so I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek. This will be my first look too. Check out our balcony. It's amazing. I saw it online, but that doesn't do it justice. Not wait to have breakfast and coffee right here. We're gonna figure out what we're doing the rest of the day. Probably need to go grocery shopping and we'll go to the pool because B is ready to swim and then we'll be exploring St. Thomas until Sunday. We made it to the first beach of the day, our first beach experience on St. Thomas and we're at Lindquist Beach, which is gorgeous and there's nobody here. So there's supposed to be really great snorkeling. So we're gonna go snorkeling. Yeah. Did you find some crabs? Yeah. Okay, let's go look at them. He's hungry. Uh, We've been at the beach all morning and we're now at Isa Vegan and so far it smells like it is amazing. So we're gonna go in here, order some lunch, try some of the stuff they have, which the menu is huge, so it's gonna be hard to make a decision. But it's so nice when the whole menu is vegan, but it also makes it hard because what do you choose? I know. Ooh. Ooh. Yummy. You can have some. Yeah. Like, like she needed permission. this beautiful beach. We got here early because it's the most popular beach in St. Thomas. So we know it's gonna get busy. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> having a blast as you can hear. I think we're just gonna hang out here for the morning and then I'm not sure we're gonna do this afternoon but so far there's not a lot of people here and we are loving it. What's up everybody? So we're actually here at the Humane uh, Shelter. I think it's called HSSTT, Humane Society St. Thomas. Uh, and we'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to help out. These islands, these smaller islands, really depend on outside donations because they don't have enough resources, uh, people, fosters, money to help out. And with the hurricanes and stuff, they got overran and so they don't have enough uh, volunteers either. So if you guys want to donate or help out, just the link, we'll put the link down below uh, in the description of this video and it'll be much appreciated. We figured out what we're going to do for activity number one today. And we're first checking out the little private beach at our resort. And then we're going to try and get in the abandoned resort next door. We're not sure if it's like blocked off or anything. So hopefully we can get in there and check that out because that would be pretty cool. So this is our little private beach. Super cute. And that is the resort next door that we're gonna try to get into. I think we just have to climb over those rocks, so we'll see if it's doable. All right, so we made it over here. It wasn't actually that hard at all. We just had to climb over those rocks back there. A little bit shaky at some points, but not a big deal. We're walking over here now, and we see some stairs right there that lead up to it with a yellow sign that probably just says, come on in. Okay, we're making it up here. And if you guys want to see the full tour of the resort, I hate to leave you hanging, but you'll have to go to John's channel, link in the description, because he's gonna do a full abandoned resort walkthrough, and you can see everything. Wow, that resort was so cool. We were just sitting here looking at the footage because I'm gonna edit it later. 
It is so awesome. You guys are gonna love the full walkthrough on John's channel, which will actually be up before this video gets up on my channel. So I will have that linked, as I said. But it was just so crazy and cool to see that million, multi-million dollar resort completely abandoned, but it looked like everybody just left yesterday. Like beds were still made, it was insane. And now we're just chilling at the pool, eating some hummus and vegetables, enjoying the beautiful weather and view. Good job, baby! That was so good! That was so good! We decided to come to the beach for sunset, our favorite beach here, which is Lindquist, and we've been coming like every night. And it's just beautiful, and there's like no people here after five, and also you don't have to pay after five, so that's a plus. What did you find? A rare. What's in there? A rare. We are checking out of our Airbnb right now, about to head to the airport. We're sad to leave these beautiful islands. We had the most amazing time created very beautiful memories that will cherish forever. And that's why I'd love to record everything because we can watch these videos in the future and look at our pictures and it's just so fun to reminisce and it makes you remember little things that you wouldn't have remembered otherwise. Anyways, it is time to head home now. Um, we had a great time here. We were here for about 11 days in the Virgin Islands. Thanks for following along. I'm about to lock the doors. Bittersweet, sad, but also grateful that we were here and um, as always, I will see you guys on the next video when we get back to West Virginia. Bye bye beautiful islands. All right, so this guy just came on our porch and got into our trash. We did not litter. But he's eating plastic, and I don't want him to eat the plastic, him or her. But I also don't want to try to take it away. <laughs> so, hey, come here. Man, it's like a full-on Komodo dragon there. All right, I'm actually going to put the camera down and see if I can't get this thing away from him.